Hello everybody, welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another video. Oh, it's fun day today. Um, okay, so I am recording this just before I leave for San Diego, but you're not watching this for like another week and a half or so. So when you are watching this, I will be currently in San Diego, California um, for the Fluid Art with Friends workshop with Lee and Jeremy. So I am recording this video, doing a super quick video so that I have something to post on YouTube while I am away. And I really thought, you know, it's been a long time since I've done a bloom. And the other day or last week or two weeks ago, I did some coasters um, so that I could take them with me to San Diego. Um, and so I did some bloom coasters and I really forgot how fun it was doing the bloom technique. And, you know, for those of you who are longtime watchers, um, you know, I, I did it a while ago. It's been a long time since I've done blooms. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to have some fun today and we're going to do some blooming. Now, no idea what the bloom technique is? No problem. Uh, I've got two video tutorials that you can check back on and get all the information you need. So video number 500, I had Lisa Marvin come to my house and she taught me how to do the bloom and all of that stuff. And then video 504 is me doing another video with full complete measurements, ingredients, what you need, you know, whatever. Now, keeping in mind, the bloom technique is a very, very difficult technique. Um, now, if you want to learn more, because I'm in Canada, so I use Canadian products. However, you may be in Europe or US or somewhere outside of Canada where the products are different. This is where the Shelly Art course comes in super duper handy. So you can take the course from Shelly Art herself from Australia and you can pay and take this course, which is an amazing course. You learn so many things and then you get into a private Facebook group that is only for members who have paid and bought for the course. And then you can ask any question. Everyone is willing to help. There's a tremendous, you know, amount of people who help you with your questions. The team themselves, Shelly, Billy, all these people who help with any questions you may have, no matter where you live in the world. And there are people doing this technique all around the world. So there's no shortage of information when you're in that Facebook group. And like I said, everyone in that group is so uh, informative and so helpful and so kind. So there's definitely a bonus to taking the class. And so, like I said, you take the class, you learn a bunch of things with Shelly, and then you can get into the Facebook group where you can learn even more. But again, like for those who are in Canada or whatever, but you know, you can use actually in the US, you guys have the same product. So um, check out my videos 500 and 504. And then if you want to take the Shelly art course, the link is in the description below and you can get a discount. I do have a discount code. All right. And you can get a discount by taking the course. So I'm going to just do show you guys a few things that I use for this technique. But then, like I said, if you really want all the details, check out video number 504. So of course, what we one of the major things we need is Australian Floetrol. We use that for the cell activator. OK, um, Australian Floetrol. Another thing you need is Joe Sonia varnish. OK, that is a big thing that you need to do your blooms is some Joe Sonia varnish. All right. Um, you need bare paint that's from Home Depot. I didn't put it on the table, but again, video 504 will show you all this stuff. Okay. Um, where do you get Joe Sonia? Where do you get Australian Floetrol? The Fluid Art Co website, fluid-art.co website. Okay. You go onto the website again, you can go into the description below the video. The link is there. You go on their website, you buy those products, you can buy your TLP Piggy pigments, okay? This one's a Constellation, one of the colors I'm using today. Um, so you can get your piggies from Fluid Art Co., okay? You can get a lot of things that you need for this technique from Fluid Art Co. What I have here is a 14 by 14 inch canvas. 
And um, I've got, this here is a spinner that uh, I got from Erica Hughes. So from Erica Hughes Art, she is in Ireland. She does make them and sell them, okay? Um, you can also, um, if you wanna shop, you know, in the US, another person who makes really awesome spinners is Jessica Winterstrom from Jessica Winterstrom Art. I do not have one of her spinners. I'm hoping to get one of those and try one of those out after I see her in Asheville, North Carolina for Fluid Art Experience. She will be there. So you can get these spinners from a lot of different places. You can get a spinner off Amazon. It doesn't have to be big and fancy, but if you like to do big canvases, these are really cool. I take this off and show you, but I have this so perfectly centered, like I literally measured it to be centered exactly on the board, so I don't wanna move it. Um, but again, video 504, I may or may not show you that in, in one of the videos, but I do have other Bloom videos where I do talk about this. So again, Erica Hughes, okay? You can check her out, Erica Hughes Art or Jessica Winterstrom Art. She also has um, a spinner as well. If you need any information or have any questions, put them in the comments below and I will be happy to answer your questions. All right, so... I'm going to put my gloves on. Yeah, I never wear gloves when I paint, but when it comes to the bloom technique, believe you me, you want to be wearing gloves because shit is a messy technique. I'm going to pull out my hair dryer because I'm going to be doing a blowout bloom. All right. Most times if you're doing just like a small bloom, like I did on coasters, do you guys want to see coasters? Do you want to see a video on me doing coasters for those of you who are just starting out with the bloom? You're not obviously going to go big when you first start. Some people like to start small, uh, maybe on some coasters. Uh, I did do a few. If you actually, if I remember at the very end of this video, I did record um, the end results of some of the coasters I had done. I'll put that at the end so you can kind of see like how cute the coasters turned out. If I remember, I'll try to remember. I will try my best to remember. Uh, but this time I'm going to blow it out. So. The base color I'm going to use is from Sherwin-Williams, color to go, okay? And the color I'm using is called Sea Serpent. So that is what I'm using as the base, Sea Serpent. And then my colors uh, are, oh, there's a doggy here. There's a doggy here. So the colors I'm using, I wonder if you can see these. This is Sapphire by TLP, this little piggy sapphire, okay? Uh, then I have, let's see here, Permanent Blue Violet by Amsterdam, okay? And again, if you want to know how I mix this, what I mix it with, the ratios, all of that, check out video 504, okay? This is TLP's Lemon Sorbet, all right? And then we have TLP Constellation, there you go. And then topping it off, we've got TLP's Emerald, okay? So there we go. Those are the colors I'm using with the base. And then my cell activator, which is the Australian Floetrol and Payne's Gray by Amsterdam, okay? Cell activator is three parts Floetrol to one part paint. What does that mean? Um, if I put 30 grams of Floetrol in the cup, I'm gonna put 10 grams of paint. If I do 30 grams, 30 millimeters of Floetrol, I'm gonna do 10 millimeters of paint. If I do three tablespoons of Floetrol, I'm gonna do one tablespoon of paint. So that's what we mean when we say three to one, okay? So I've, like I said, it's Payne's Gray by Amsterdam. That is my cell activator. So, uh, I'm a little nervous because, ugh, gosh, it's been over a year over a year since I have done, aside from the coasters I did last week uh, or two weeks ago, but it's it's been a long time since I have done a bloom, let alone one this big and use the hair dryer. So I am a little nervous, but you know, we'll make it work, right? <laughs> we'll see. So I'm gonna pour some here in the center, maybe a little around the edge here like so, and then I'll eventually spread that out. But uh, I don't know how much to put 
I, I never really kind of know this stuff. I kind of just play it by ear or by eye, no, not by ear, by eye. Um, but yeah, so I get the stuff at, like I said, Sherwin-Williams. Sometimes, actually a lot of the times it goes on sale. So when it does go on sale, that's when you should stock up. But um, yeah, so I'm going to just spread this out a little bit. And for those of you who are watching who are like avid bloomers, don't come at me if I'm doing something wrong, okay? <laughs> Do not come at me in the comments and be like, no, you're doing it wrong. Um, because like I said, it's been a long, long time since I've done a bloom, okay? Uh, I think I think there's quite a bit in the center. That should be enough. Let's see. So instead of doing a puddle, I'm actually just going to do like a diagonal, you know, line. And again, I'm not sure how much is right or wrong to put down. So I'm just going to kind of do what I think is best and we'll see what, we'll see what happens. But at the end of the day, there's no like right or wrong when it comes to the design. Okay. Now, if your paint cracks and, you know, whatever, that's a different story. But in terms of composition and design and that kind of stuff, it's whatever you want it to be. Okay. There's, I don't really feel like there's a right or wrong. Like, oh, my cells didn't spread or I didn't get too many cells or, you know, as long as you end up with something pretty that you like. To me, like, I mean, for me, that's all that really matters. Like, I mean, am I ever going to be as good as Shelly? Hell no. You know, I'd love to be, maybe if I practiced way more, you know, and I got good at it, maybe I could one day in 10 years from now get as good as her. <laughs> but, you know, this is just all about fun. So there we go. I've got all my colors down. There are some bubbles, but I don't want to pop them with a torch. I have this um, uh, palette. Um, palette knife. I'm just going to pop the bubbles with the palette knife. There we go. The big bubbles. And I have these because if you watch Jessica Winterstrom, she does these scoop thingy, you know, design and she scoops and drags and she does these really cool things. So you can do a lot of things. Uh, okay. So now I'm going to put my cell activator. All right. I don't know what is a good amount or not good amount, but because I'm gonna blow this out, I'm kind of putting a lot. That may be a smart thing or a bad thing, I'm not sure, but heck, we're just playing, okay? So now I'm gonna aim the hair dryer and hit it right here in the black and push it out. black here in the center however you got to give it some time to kind of surface and then also I find that if you have a straw now you guys know how much I hate straws when I'm doing a blowout just my regular blowouts but um, I just bought these cardboard straws from the dollar store but I find that if I blow directly down onto these black parts it will bring out some more cells for me. Okay, and now I'm gonna wait a little bit. Okay, and then also, you could always blow some of the cells into the center. You see what came up here? Some purple cells a little bit. 
give it some time, okay? So while I'm giving this time to do its thing here in the center, I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to spread the paint around to get the whole canvas covered because when I spin this baby, the canvas needs to be wet. You know, ideally I would love to do these on a, um, a wooden panel, um, but I don't have any right now. I need to head on over to the art store and get some, but uh, yeah, I'd love to do it on a panel instead. I feel like there's so much paint here in the center, which I am gonna spin a lot of it off, but I feel like the canvas is really sagging in the middle. All right, I'm loving the way that looks. It's just a matter of now when I spin it, what are we gonna end up with? And you guys all know how much I hate a mess. So I'm really hoping that this doesn't splatter everywhere and make a colossal mess. So let me just be safe here and close all this stuff up and Wow, that is so pretty. Now wish me luck. Uh, oh God. Start slow. That was maybe a little too slow. Let me see, it's already coming off the side here. So I kind of want it this to go that way. So now I'm gonna spin the other way and hopefully some more of this goes that way. <gasps> now the table's getting dirty, folks. <laughs> I'm so not used to this. I'm loving this, but this isn't going anywhere. So I'm a little disappointed in that. I may pick it up and tilt it a little bit. So let's do that. I'm gonna just pick it up here from the corner and tilt it down. Cause I kind of want it to go down this way too. I'm just, I really hope I'm not really gonna screw up all the cells and the nice design, but I feel like I need to get this paint to the bottom corner if it's going to spin properly. So don't be afraid to tilt it a little bit. Oh my gosh, these colors are amazing. Okay, I'm going to spin it, and then I might kind of tilt it back to the center again. Uh, my super clean table is not clean anymore. Wah, wah, wah. All right. I can't tell. I feel like uh, I should scrape this off the plastic lowly Bethy mat because I don't want it flinging while it's spinning. There we go. And the reason I put the mat down is because I want to try and keep my spinner as clean as possible. And I did actually cover the ends, the legs or whatever you want to call them of my spinner with some saran wrap, cling wrap, whatever it is you guys call it. We call it saran wrap. Um, but yeah, so I don't want it flinging all over and um, getting my the legs of it dirty. Woo! All right. What do we got here? So it's definitely moving to the end, which I love. I kind of want it kind of, you know, it's kind of got to go down this way, though. So I'm going to carefully lift this and just kind of stretch it down. Oh my God, this is so pretty. I feel like it needs, it's like it's not, there we go. Needed a little, this is why it's super important to make sure your canvas, um, you know, is has enough paint. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wet the sides so that it flows better. Oh yeah, there's a lot missing over here. Lots. 
And you know, you notice, just like I do with my blowouts, I dab, I don't rub. I don't like to rub my sides. Always dab. Okay, maybe that might help the flow better down the side of a canvas. Because if it's not wet, it's not going anywhere, right? It's going to stop dead in its tracks. My gosh, this is so pretty. Now, if only I could just get it to come down here. Let me, again, tilt it a bit. Oops, I missed this side. There we go. Okay, so let me, and this is why I wear gloves doing this technique. It is moving slowly, but surely it's definitely moving. Okay. So let me spin her again. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Okay. Come on, spin around the end. I want it to come off the edge, which that kind of worked a little bit. I'm gonna try and give it one more hard spin and then maybe the other direction and I'll be good. Well, that was a good one. Oh, that worked, that, that worked. Now I'm gonna go the other way, kind of hoping that it kind of brings everything back this way. I don't know. Lisa Marvin swears to only turn one way, like spin one way. I asked her that and she said something about centrifuge or I don't even know what that means. She knows better than I do, but she only spins in one direction. I kind of spin both ways, so I'm gonna spin the other way. Like I said, I'm not the expert here. I'm just having fun. And that's like the best part about it is I'm just having fun, all right? Uh, and I'm loving the way this looks. Oh my gosh, okay. So, what do I wanna do? I want to see if I can bring some of this center back. This is gonna take a while. I might speed you guys up for like 30 seconds. Okay, I think I'm done. Oh my gosh, I love it. See, here's the thing though. I did not put any push pins on the bottom of this. So I might have to just leave them here to dry. And then, yeah, he might just stay here and dry. So I could <clears throat> kind of scrape a little bit this paint off of the leg here so that the canvas doesn't stick to it. I don't remember what I used to do. Did I take, used to take it off and put it on the table? I know though here on, on the spinner, it's actually um, level because I did check it before I put the paint down. So I know it's level. So I know by leaving it here, it's not really going to move on me. So I think I'm going to leave it here because I know it's level and then just let it dry. What I don't like though is this white freckle out of nowhere. Oh, it's not a freckle. It's a white speck. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. Wait till you guys see the close up. These piggies shimmer like crazy. One day, when I get back from San Diego, I'm gonna do this again and I'm gonna watch some of Jessica Winterstrom's um, videos and watch her do the scoop and hide or scoop and drag or whatever it is she calls it. Uh, sorry, Jessica, I love you, but I need to watch some of your videos. So, oh my gosh, I love it. Oh my gosh, this is so freaking cool. Why don't I do this more often? That was actually really fun, okay. I'm going to bring you guys in for a close-up. Be right back. All right, so I'm going to show you guys a close-up with my studio lights, the white lights. And then Lisa Marvin says that if you use yellow light, you actually see the shimmer better. So I'm going to just show you guys this really quick, just so that you can kind of see 
the uh, Awesome Cells. This turned out so, I love this thing. Oh, I really love this thing. But I'm gonna do yellow lights. So let me just change my lighting here, hold on. All right, so I've got the yellow lights. And I think this is where you're gonna see the real shimmer of these TLP piggies. Look how pretty this is, this is amazing. I'm trying to get the right angle to show you guys. Oh, you know what? I should turn the flash on. I'll do one with the flash because I'm not sure this is working. Kind of. Now you see those air bubbles? I, I don't torch them. I don't torch house paint. Um, so just let them pop on their own or get a skewer or a pin or something and pop them. Let me, let me try this with the flash. Hold on. All right. I think this is going to be the best way to show you. Yep. Oh my gosh. Look at that. This is going to look insane when it dries. Look at the shimmer on these piggies. Oh my goodness. Those of you who have TLP piggies and have used them, you know exactly what I'm looking for and what you expect from these TLP piggies. Look at this. Oh my gosh. This is so amazing. I'm going <laughs> to, when I get back from San Diego, I'm going to be doing some more blooming, honestly. I don't know, sometimes I get into a kick and I do a bunch of stuff and then I, you know, stop doing it. But it's time, look at this. It's time to get back into blooming. Oh, so pretty. Okay, okay, okay. All right, everybody, uh, there you have it. Uh, I would love to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Um, do you want to see more blooms? I do. Um, I definitely want to do more. There's so many color combinations that uh, I would like to try. And again, um, you know, take the Shelly Art course. Um, you can save a 15% off using my discount code. I believe it's uh, Shelly Art Canela 15. Again, that info is in the description below. Take the course. It's so worth it. And then getting into that private Facebook group where you have thousands and thousands of people in that group that will give you and help you with any questions you have. Um, it's amazing. So it's definitely worth it. And again, check out video number 504 where I give you guys like mixing ratios and stuff like that. Um, but this was so much fun. And again, the spinner, Erica Hughes art or Jessica Winterstrom, you can get one from her. Um, you know, once I get one from Jessica, I will show it on my channel for you guys as well after I get back or whenever I get my hands on one. But um, it's so pretty. I can't wait to see this dry. It's going to have to wait till I get back from San Diego. <laughs> that's, that's when I'm going to see it dry. But uh, let me know what you guys think about it in the comments below. I hope you guys are enjoying the videos while I'm gone and I will be back soon. Actually, the next video or two you see from me, I might be back. But until then, my friends, thank you guys so much for watching. Until next time, have a good day, have a good night, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.